Hello everyone and welcome to your 10 grasshopper tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn something called the attractor point. So the attractor point, if you've seen anything like this in any forum or any blog, uh, this is what we call an attractor point. So the attractor point basically is a point. So we have a point here and we can see that there is a circle surrounding it. And what it does is it has a certain function which um, controls what is surrounding it. So first things first, if you look at the like if you look at the shape here, we have a grid of circles, okay, and then we have one big circle with the point in the middle. So this is the center of this circle, and this is the periphery of the circle. Whatever goes inside this circle will get affected by a function uh, that we insert for this uh, circle. So if you move this point anywhere else, it's gonna affect whatever is surrounding the, uh, the main circle okay so we'll just start now with the rhino and we open our grasshopper okay so zoom, zoom, zoom. so first thing we're gonna do is actually create a grid so double click and write um grid let me see if i can get it no we'll get a rectangular grid so right click rec rectangular and you want to choose this one, rectangular grid, okay? So you can see that we have um, we have more than one input we're going to need. So one of it is actually the size of the cell in the x-axis and the size of the cell in the y-axis and the number of cells in your x and the number of cells in your y. So I'll double click and write slider and then just edit it. So we're going to go with 50 and try to make it two-digit rounding, okay, and because of the size, it should be fine, so just, if you connect both, it will be also okay, so we, so we can have more of a uniform um, rectangular grid, uh, the size is so, okay, this size is fine, now what you want to do is actually say how many cells you want in both the x and the y axis, so if you just, just control c, control v, and because it's a number, we're gonna make it um, like how do you call this? A real number, like only with no any roundings. So hit OK, and then we just connect both to also get a uniform uh, grid. So we'll go with nine, maybe. Yeah. No, it's too big. Okay, we'll make it small. This one should be fine. So what are, we going to, what are we going to do now is actually make circles in every single uh, intersection point we have in the grid. So if you notice here in our output, we have circle, I mean cells, and we have points. And where you want to draw your circle is actually on the point, so just double click and write circle. So choose this one, now this is a geometry circle, this is the circle we want to create. So what you want to do is just connect your point to your point in your circle. And you can see that in every intersection we have, there is a circle in it. What you want to do also is, also, uh, is control your radius, so double click, or actually just get one from here. Okay, control C, control V, and then connect it, and we can see that we already have an awesome shape anyway, to begin with. But this is not what we're looking for in our um, tutorial today, so we're just going to go with this. And you can see that if you make it bigger or smaller, like the circles also works with it so this this is cool okay so this is fine uh what you want to do actually now is we're going to create the point with the circle around it so what we're going to do is actually get another circle and then uh here it says we need a point so what we're going to do is just click point from rhino choose it here and then click in geometry or point both works Set one geometry, that will be your point, and then just connect it here. And for the radius, we're just going to copy this and get another radius. And you can see that we have our second circle, which is going to be our attractor point and circle for um, our definition. Okay, so here is the really tricky part. What we want is, we want this circle to affect the grid of circles here, like every Whatever circle is inside the big, okay, whatever small circle is inside the big circle, I want it to get affected by it. And if I move this circle, it's gonna also affect whatever 
goes inside the, the grid of circles we have. So what we want to do is actually calculate the distance between this circle and the circles around it. So just double click and write on right, distance. Okay. So distance here, we're just going to connect this circle and this circle. So to calculate the distance between all the circles in here with the circle in here. When you're done, what you want to do is actually, um, we're going to actually create, uh, a, we're going to make, <laughs> we're going to insert a definition, or not a definition, actually, we're going to insert a command, uh, which is called scale. So just double click and write scale. And what we want, we want actually the, the because we want to control, okay, what are we going to do? Because it's, you just don't want to calculate the distance between the circle and the circle and then do what? Nothing. We can just, we have to do a scaling thing, like here. We can see that whatever affects it, it affects actually the scale of the circles we have in the grid. Okay, so what you want to do is actually just connect your circle to the geometry. And we can see that we have um, a grid of circles here. So if you just connect the circle again to the other, to the center, we can see that it just calculated it automatically in Grasshopper to make it fit the, the grid we have, okay? So the function here is what we're going to manipulate in our definition. So just double click and actually write... Um, okay, so if you just double click and then uh, calculate the minimum. So when you calculate the minimum, you want to calculate the minimum distance between both these circles. So just connect the distance to A here. And B would be the the radius of this, the big circle we have that's going to manipulate the scale of the little circles. So just connect this here. And see if nothing else happened yet. It's okay. But actually you have to get a division um, command. So just hit A over B division. I want to do is calculate whatever result we have here with the A and also connect the um, the radius of the other circle to the B. When you're done, we can see that this 3 here is basically the function or um, yeah, the function we're going to connect here. So if you just connect it here, we can see that something happens. It's not very clear now, so what you want to do is just click here in your circle, right click preview, unpreview, and also for your grid, hit unpreview. So if you can see we have the definition is ready. If you move your um, point with the radius around it, you can see that it affects all the other, um, yeah, it affects whatever is inside the, the radius of the circle. So if you just make it smaller, you can see that it changes. You can also change the radius of your circles. You are in your grid, and you can make your grid bigger and smaller. So it's really a fun uh, definition to work with. And yeah, so um, I think this is it for this tutorial. Hopefully, it wasn't too hard. Uh, yeah. So basically, it's it's really just calculating the distance between. Um, the big circle and the small circles, getting the minimum and then dividing it and scaling it according to whatever um, results you have. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next tutorial.